Hello, sir. Sorry to bother you, sir. Yes, Fajiro, what is it? Someone is here to see you. And who is he? Um, not a familiar face, sir, and she's not on our appointment list, sir. Then ask questions before you send an armed robber into my office. I have asked her, sir, but she insisted on seeing you without providing much information. Oh, she is a female? Yes, sir, but she has not been here before. Okay, you should be quick to tell me the genders of our guests. Uh, instead of wasting time, is she beautiful? Yes, sir. Let her in. Okay, sir. Uh, Ma, you can go in to see him now. Good morning, Honorable. Morning. Were you the one they said wants to see me or you came with your daughter? Honorable, can't you even offer me a seat before the interview? Please don't have a seat. Mm -hmm. Honorable, I am known in this constituency as Market Mama. I didn't come with anyone. I came alone. Don't you remember me? Remember you? From where? How you these politicians tend to forget the faces of people that fought for you, campaigned for you and voted for you into office. It's so disheartening and heartbreaking. Um, I'm sorry about that. You know, we meet a lot of people during campaigns. We can't remember everyone. That's okay. I'm here on behalf of the market women, as market mama that I am. All right. Please excuse me. Give me a minute. I have all day. Just give me a minute. Honorable. All right. I'll be back. Sir, is there a problem? Oh, so you don't know there is a problem? What happened, sir? Why did you tell me it was a female? But, sir, she's a female. An old female? Huh? Why didn't you specify it? But, sir, you did not ask for her age range. But for now, I'll start requesting for age, sir. You can, can you imagine? You sent in your grandmother to come and meet me. No, sir. My grandmother's from my father's side and my mother's side are late, sir. I swear to God, I don't know her. And I swear the next time you sent in ancient and modern into my office, you will use your hands to type your sack letter before I sack you. I'm sorry, sir. I did not know you don't like old women. What, what did you just say? I'm sorry, sir. I, I meant to say I did not know you don't receive old women as guests, sir. I'm sorry. You know what? Remind me by month end to deduct on the salary. Glory. Glory. You see, <clears throat> the Bible said there was serious hunger in the land. The Bible tells us that Isaac sowed crops in that land and took in a huge harvest. And God blessed him. The man started getting richer, richer, and richer, and richer until he accumulated wealth. Wealth, flocks, and health, servant everywhere. Hallelujah. To a stage that even the Philistines begin to envy him. Um, Emonji. Yeah. I know that there's hunger in the land. It's also affecting us. But don't worry, I will send you something. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. 
You see, you see, I'm not here for that. I'm not a man of God. I will say, let us pray and fast when hunger is ravaging the land. You get it? You see, the situation we are in today is more like a famine. So, so apart from prayer, how else can we solve this problem? God. You see, the Bible said there was so much famine in the land. And the people cried to Pharaoh for food. And Pharaoh said, go and meet Joseph and do what he tells you to do. And the people went to Joseph. Because why? There was so much hunger that is, that is destroying the land. And what did Joseph do? And Joseph went to open the storehouse. You open the storehouse and begin to sell grain. He begin to sell grain to all Egyptians. Hmm. That, that's interesting. You see, like what I was telling you, there is time for everything. Mm -hmm. There is time for action. There is time for fasting. There is time for prayer. The time we are in now is a time where we are going to pray and use the prayer to back up our action. So, I mean, what action should we take? Good. Like what I was telling you before. Like what I, I was telling you before. That when the people cry to Pharaoh, Pharaoh sent them to Joseph. What did Joseph do? The Bible said, Joseph went to open the storehouse. What did I say? Joseph opened the storehouse. What did I say? Joseph opened the storehouse. It's time for you to tell your husband to open the storehouse. Let the Holy Ghost come in and breathe him. Your husband is the masses representative. Storehouse? Yes! Hunger wants to chase the entire market women out of the market. What actually do people want us to become? Arm robbers? I shall what what? Oh, come on, market mama. It hasn't come to that. It's more than that. Our eating pattern has become like radio station frequency. 010, 001, 100. Um, you see, market mama, I'm truly sorry about that. But I can assure you that the government of the day truly feels what you people are going through. Don't console us. How can you say you feel what we feel? When you ride in an AC car, you sleep in an AC room, you work in an AC office, Probably you eat your intercontinental dishes in an ATAC field apartment. Uh, 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 I, what you have just said is true, and I understand. But I want to reassure you that the government really feels what the masses are going through. And we'll look into it, I can assure you. Honorable, it's like you don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Come next week Friday, the entire market women have decided to dance naked and they will come to your house. They will open up their bumbo and they will rain curses upon you and your entire generation. Lord of government, how can you plan such a heinous activity of opening bumbo and raining curses on me? I alone don't make up the entire government. Because you are our representative. We voted you there so that you become our mouth and our eyes. Through you we can send messages. If you don't take immediate action to solve the problem of people in your constituency. But the government is already taking steps in that direction. We don't need that baby step anymore. We need adult stride. Fast, fast. How do you mean exactly? Whatever the federal government is doing, you that we voted into the office to represent us, you have your constituency allocation for projects. Deep hand into that money and take money and solve our problem. If not, you will see different shapes. Sizes and colors of old and young bonbon opened wide in front of your house for a generational cause. You know what that means? Are you threatening me? Yes, it is a threat, and we are going to carry it out. After you, we we'll move to the local government chairman's house, then to the house of assembly, finally to the state governor's house. No one will be left out. Corporate, or you collect generational swear. Woto woto. <clears throat> Gloria, all right. Mm. Problem. You see, it is people like us that encourage people on how to pray and when to act. 
You see? So you must know where to act. That is why you will tell your husband this is where to act. Glory. No problem, Emoji. I'll tell my husband to act. Glory. Okay, all right. All right. Uh, you see, <clears throat> we must speak truth to power. Because people like us that are close to those in corridors of power, we must advise them and tell them the truth. Because if we hide and refuse to tell them the truth, and that means that we are also culpable of the suffering of children of God. Um, Emily, I'll tell my husband all you have said. I'll go right. against him. All right, glory, glory. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you see, <clears throat> you will remind your husband, like I said, you know, I told you that when the hunger was in the land, the people ran to Joseph. And what did Joseph do? The Bible said he went to open the stall house. Also, Isaac, when the family came, the Bible said Isaac planted. Isaac did not fast and pray. The Bible said he sold in the land. He sold. You see? And God blessed him. So, you know. There is how we do things. Emoji, I've understood everything you said clearly. All I'm saying is for you to sink to you. See? So you must know when to act and when to, to, to pray. So this time require action. And we have to back up our action with prayer. Emoji, I've heard everything you said clearly. All right. All right. Um, okay. That reminds me. Lest I forget. Uh, you know, before now, uh, you, you said we give the ministry a talk on. The angels just minister to me. She tell my daughter because she was about to give the ministry a talk on. The angels just reminded me now. She tell her, <laughs> glory, glory. Emoji. Hey, I thought you said that wasn't what you came here for. <laughs> Look at you. The money is not for me. It's for the ministry. The angel reminded me because they have already calculated the money. They have recorded the money in heaven. They are, they are the one that needed the money. It's not me. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. I will send you something. Okay. All right. How much are you sending? Does it matter? Ah. You know, you will, you, will, you, will, you will save your mouth to the ears of the angels. But that determines the bank I'm offering. Anything below 20,000 naira. Is going to our microfinance bank. Mm -hmm. Then anything above twenty thousand goes to our general commercial bank. You see. Then uh, we also have a dumb account for hard currency, and we accept Bitcoin. Then if you say okay, uh, you know I have my ATM with me. I want to swipe. <laughs> hey! Don't look at don't look at this one. What is here? It's working fine, very active. Here's your card. There you put it. Vegiro, as part of my constituency obligations, I have personally decided to assist our women in various worlds through the Market Women's Union. Take Market Mama to your office and uh, detail everything we have both agreed on. Okay, sir. All right. Uh, Marcus Mama, for the sake of emphasis, we agreed on 200 bags of rice for our women, some bags of beans, gari, and cartons of noodles. Am I correct? Honorable, don't forget this is just a palliative measure. You are not Jesus, and you cannot feed 5,000 people. Even like that, for how long? Marcus Mama, what exactly is your point? I already acceded to your request after threatening me with bomb bomb. What else? My point is that the government should not take sharing of money and the food as a permanent solution. A permanent solution should be considered. It is better to teach a man how to fish than to give him fish. Market mama, if you must know, the government of the day is still looking for the river to fish, let alone teaching citizens how to fish. And for the records, this fish I'm giving to you is from me personally to you, not from the federal government. It's okay. Thank you. We appreciate it. Very good. Now, Fejiro. Sir? Take 
market mama to your office and uh, detail everything, then see me later for disbursement of funds. All right, sir. Market mama, let's go. What can I do for you? And since when did hello become a form of greeting? Hello is a form of greeting. At least to get someone's attention or to start up a conversation. So is that what you tell your mom and father when you see them in the morning? Why are you bringing my parents into this? Because this woman here is old enough to be your mother. So is it hello including her? Please, I'm here to see Zadi. I didn't come here to distribute greetings. Anyway, Zadi is not on seats. Go home and learn some home trainings. I'm not even wasting my time, so... <sighs> Hello, Zadi. I'm here at your office, and your secretary is embarrassing me. The last time we travelled to London, you told me we were going to sack her. What's she still doing here? Fine. Please take care of it immediately. I don't want to see her the next time I come here. See, if Zadi sacks me, I will beat you with chemical anywhere I see you. Nonsense, I shall. Did you just call me that for real? Of course. Let this not escalate, my children. Please. Hello, sir. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Your father's mate said that she'll allow you in to come and do your shower work as usual. Your job today. Let me know they don't bore you away. They don't bore you away. Ship a shower. Hey, hey, mom. Oh. Zadi, don't even dare come close to me. Don't even dare. Akoswa. You see this kind of warning you are giving to me right now? My wife of many years won't even dare. Well, Zadi, you said I'm special and I have special privileges. Besides, you said we shouldn't bring up your wife in our conversation. Why are you bringing her up now? Akosua, my baby, please calm down. Let's forget about all that, okay? Zadi, if you want me to calm down, then you have to tell me why you haven't sacked that Fijori girl. Or why you won't sack her today. <sighs> oh, you're having something to do with her too, right? Don't even say that again! Then why haven't you sacked her? Why is she blackmailing you or something? Wait, Akosua. Are you here? to collect the balance of the car I promised you. Or you are here to carry out an investigation. Ah, that's my baby, you see. Come here, come on. Come here, come to Zadi. <laughs> <coughs> um, sorry, sir. I did not know an unofficial duty is taking place already, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Fejiro. Sir? I did not ask you to draw up a budget for a bidding project. It's just a budget for feeding a few market women. Exactly what I did, sir. Then how come I'm seeing 25 billion dollars at total cost to feed a few market women? Sir, you promised to give them 200 bags of rice, Gary ETC. I listed and confirmed the price, sir. Then how did you arrive at 25 million naira? Just to feed a few market women. Why would I spend that kind of money to, to, to do that? When it's not even an election period. Election is still three years away. Okay, sir, let me break it down for you. A bag of rice is 85,000 naira. 85,000 naira times 200. That is 17 million naira. Aside <laughs> logistics. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say a bag of rice is selling in this country at 85,000 naira? Yes, sir. Blood of politics. Why will a bag of rice be selling at 85,000 naira? Sir, it's a common knowledge. It's everywhere. 
And I expected you to know by now. Expected me to know how and why? Am I selling bag of rice? No, sir. But your wife buys. And I expect her to tell you the high cost of things now. I always thought these bloggers exaggerate price to sell news on social media. I understand the prices of things have gone up. But I never expected the bag of rice to be selling at 85,000 naira. It has never hit home this much. Vejiro. Are you sure you have not inflated this price to rip me? Ah, Zazie, she might be a nasty person, but she's right. Are you serious? Yeah. For real? Yes, Zazie. Well, if she's right, uh, I call her baby. I think we'll have a small uh, challenge. We will need to postpone the purchase of your car. Ah, that's the why now? Well, um... The market women union have decided to dance naked to my house and cost me and my entire generation naked. And I believe you would not like them to dance naked and cost me. So it would be better I solve their problem now to stay alive and solve yours at a later date. What do you think? <laughs> I'm not the cause of a problem. Baby, do you know that Fejiro of a girl, my secretary? She's a thief! This is the first time I'm hearing you call her a thief. I mean, she's been working for you all these years and you've never called her a thief. What did she steal? You know, the market women union are angry and planning something very evil. Hmm. So in order to placate them, um, because their anger is born out of hunger, I decided to donate 200 bags of rice to them. Mm -hmm. I told Fejiro to estimate for this. She comes to tell me that a bag of rice is 85,000 naira. How come? Hmm. Fejiro is indeed a thief. I knew she it. She should be questioned by the police. I knew it. <laughs> I knew you were the only one I can trust on this. Thank you, my because she has to, to be questioned by the police. She has to take the police to that warehouse where she has been robbing them. She has to take the police to the warehouse where she has been robbing. Yes, now. Because how can she be buying a, a bag of rice for 85,000 naira? Bag of rice that they are selling 95,000. Yes, now. You don't know. How would I know? You have never told me the price of food stuff in this house before. Ha. Baby, the price of... They are so unstable now. They are just they are just drunken. Drunken? How do you mean drunken? You know how drunkards just stagger up and down, up and down. That's how the prices of food are now. You can even go to price something. They will tell you hundred thousand. You say, eh, Madam, let me bring my ATM card from the car. <clears throat> when you come back, they will tell you hundred and ten thousand. Mm -hmm. Baby noodles. Yes. The same noodles that we used to share to people. 18,000 naira, one carton now. Hmm. Oh, God. What have I done to myself? Hmm. And I've gone ahead to promise them 200 bags of rice, thinking maybe a bag of rice is around the... Uh... Maybe you buy 250 bags, so... Yes, now. You will add 50 more bags. Why? Because Emoji came in. Emoji was complaining that the masses are angry. They are planning a protest. And you know how hoodlums is to hijack protest. So it's better you just make them happy. So I would need another 50 bags. You might even need another 60 bags. Because our own mother, they say they want 10 more bags. Yeah, everybody is angry, baby. Eh? Eh? 60 bags. You have to do it quickly. You don't have any choice before the price will enter 100,000. Uh, 
emoji. You know, as politicians, the only time we come very close to the grassroots masses, especially sharing of rice and other gifts, is during election campaigns. That is an old strategy. And it's working. You see, poverty is the greatest tool politicians use to control the mind of the people. You see? Emoji. I hope you are not here to debase my political integrity. As you don't want this check. I'm sorry, sir. I'm you sorry. better be. And now I want you to sound it very loud and clear to everyone that I, Honorable Zadi Soko, representing the Masses Federal Constituency Worldwide, is the one funding this project with money from his own pocket, not government money. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even though you want us to print your face on the bag of the rice, you have to do it. No, I do not want that. At least not yet. It's not elections yet. I'm not campaigning for anything. The only thing I want is uh, I'll be sending in a few journalists and maybe bloggers to cover the event, take pictures and do videos so that they can broadcast. Uh, I hope that is okay by you. Uh, you know, as a spiritual person, if you look at it from a spiritual angle, the Bible says, if you are giving out with your right hand, your left hand, you know not about it. And if you view it from the political angle, you will understand that that is really just giving. And this is political giving. There are two different types of giving. I want mine to be announced. I want mine to be known. Because if I do something bad now, the news will fly faster than a rocket. Let my good works news fly fast as well. Sound it everywhere. It's fine. You can write the check. And uh, also, you, you know, you can also ask something. I, I mean, add up for the angels to transport your, your prayer to the Lord. For the Lord to answer your prayer very fast. Emoji, angels don't require transport fare to take my prayers to the Lord. Besides, the Lord is seeing the kindness of my heart towards his people, towards his children already. You see, uh, if you look at from the hierarchy, you don't understand these things from the spiritual realm. But uh, you can cut the shake. And, uh, you know, if the Lord lays it in your heart, you can just uh, ask something for me to buy your water for this house of the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Glory. 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 Yapa, lapa, lapa, lapa. Yapa, lapa. Yapa, lapa. I saw what you added to it for me. God bless. Glory. Glory. I want to say something. Okay. I don't know whether the way the Lord is ministering to me is also ministering to you at the same time. I don't know if you can, uh, you see, if you have a Lord minister to you to help you with a, a physical cash, raw one. Hello, sir. Hello, Fejiro. I have disbursed money for 200 bags of rice to the women and another 50 bags of rice to MOG to share through his church. This is to help cushion the effect of hunger in our constituency. Okay, sir. Good. Now you have to follow up. They have said distribution of the rice will start tomorrow. I want pictures and videos so that we can post them on our social media platform so that people can also see the work I'm doing. You know election time is coming very soon. Okay, sir. Sir, I wanted to ask, are we your workers allowed to go queue to collect our share of rice? Yes, you can go. And make sure you carry all your family members along. So go and queue up and disgrace yourself. Okay, sir. Thank you for the permission and the opportunity, sir. Don't be foolish. That doesn't imply you should go. You won't dare to go and disgrace me, queuing up like a refugee begging for rice. You can't be associated with me and go and queue up in public, struggling for public food. What is wrong with you? If you dare it, 
I will sack you from afar. It is delivery bike I will use to deliver your sack later to you. Don't be foolish. Are you mad? I'm sorry, sir. We must see him today. Yes, sir. We must, we must see him today. We come here and see honorable. Is that how they greet in your language? We are not here to greet anybody. We want justice, I beg. You want justice? And who told you here is Ministry of Justice? If you say that we come here complain, we know our way to his office. We too be member of his constituency. We voted him into power and we have rights to demand for our rights. Madam, you can't go in. Eh? Madam, you can't go in. Madam, you can't go in. Madam, you can't go in that way. Madam, you can't go in. I'm a You can't go in. No verse will enter like this. Keep your apologies to yourself and go straight to the point. Else I will have you both arrested and locked up for invasion of your privacy. Honorable, we are among the market women whom you donated 100 bags of rice to. 100 bags of rice? Yes. Who said it was 100 bags of rice I donated to the women of this constituency? Market Mama told saying 100 bags of rice you give us. And she has started selling it to us instead of sharing it. She only gave small to women of our tribe, took the rest to our shop, and started auctioning them to us. Oh my god! Mm. We don't get money to buy you. We even hear say you donate 50 bags, give emoji. Now we we'll go there. We said that we'll go, we'll go, we'll go. And I thank God emoji must be sharing his own accordingly. For where? Emoji only declared 35 bags of rice, telling us 15 bags are for the uh, angels. I mean, say if you no know, get that card, we they updated. We like we they up to date. We no even come near there. Those bags of rice were not donated to his church or for his church members only. He was to use his church platform to share it. He said, if you are not a member of his church, you will see how to pay tight with the number of rice you took, sir. We need this rice. We are really going through a lot, <laughs> sir. A lot they go through also. We don't come to this office like two times. They say we no go fit see you. Mm. If nobody today will come, now I tell her, say, Sir, I bet no verse not fence will jump. Ha! Yeah. Because of rice. Ha. Um, excuse me, give me a minute. Thank you. Excuse me, good man. Yes. The man from nice. Yes. Hello, DPO. Please put me through to the area command. Oh. Yes, let area command put me through to the commissioner of police directly. Sir, you won't arrest us. I'm going to arrest us. Arrest we won't call it. In arrest we come for Oga. I am highly disappointed at the both of you. Emoji and market mama. To say the least. Sir, we are deeply sorry. You know even the devil tempt. Don't even bring the devil into this emoji. I trusted the two of you. How could you two turn around so fast to show change, divert, steal what? My son, we did not steal them. Then what did you do now? Huh? At your age, you cheat your fellow women. And you are the same people that will turn around to accuse politicians like us. Of embezzling public funds and properties. What did you do now? We are very sorry. Uh, we did not know what came over us. Greed is what came over you people, nothing else. Someone like you will be worse if given the opportunity to serve in government. That, yes. Hello, sir. I agree that we messed up. But we were overwhelmed by the hunger and the hardship. Hunger do not turn honest people into thieves overnight. A little role I give to you people to serve. You suddenly turn lords overnight. Giving commands and doing and undoing. A little office I let you people to handle. You turn time rounds. Suddenly preying on your fellows. Why are we wicked to one another with every given opportunity? Why? Please forgive us. 
is because we have never handled this kind of huge responsibility and power before. Power intoxicates, I understand. But you see, the heart of man is naturally wicked. Else I see no reason why you two will convert food meant for everybody into your personal businesses. You two are saboteurs who will sabotage the good effort of political leaders. Making every politician look bad. And they give you a little contract or responsibility. And you mess it up with greed. <coughs> Sir, I will say this final apology. We are deeply sorry. But you must also know that the behavior of a people are the reflection of the leaders. Oh yes. How do you expect people to be honest when their leaders are corrupt? They even embezzle public funds with impunity. It has become a norm today in our society. Whatever we, we, we did today, we learned it from you people, our leaders. You are very correct. God bless you, ma. God bless but you. We are still saying we are sorry. Everyone in this nation needs a national rehabilitation program to reposition our mind. To serve selflessly in handling public properties and offices, beginning with you politicians, civil servants, so on and so forth. I totally agree with you, Market Mama. God bless you. Officer, so arrest I'm... them! Arrest? They have been arrested. I only brought them here on your request. Rearrest them again! And make sure first thing Monday morning they are in court. So that they can begin the national reorientation program while repositioning their minds all over again in prison. Now move it. Your wish is my command, sir. Yes. Oh, we handle it. Oh, we handle it. Oh, I still move it. Now, service. <laughs> <laughs>